Hi there folks, it's me again, David Reedman, and if you've just tuned in, you're watching my vlog channel on YouTube. Whether you're watching it on TV, on your iPad, on your telephone, whichever way, it, everything goes. I actually personally watch it on TV. I bought this really big TV recently, and this is probably what started my YouTube journey. I realized it's possible to be on TV. You're not on the number one news or whatever, thank God. But it is possible to watch this stuff on a big TV. And it's all about creating some kind of content. Of course, I got a message. You know, the YouTube is pretty much full of all sorts of shit these days. But anyway, either way, welcome again to my channel. And above all, look what's behind me. The famous Medusa artwork. Let me just turn a little bit like here. Or maybe go a little bit over here for you. And then you can see the artwork a little bit better. Yeah, this week I finally threw the artwork onto the net. I've, I'm, I've been teasing you guys for a few weeks now with the artwork, but it's finally time. We're on the four week countdown to the release. Yeah, just over four weeks. It's gonna, gonna be on the 4th of April, a Friday night. There's gonna be a live stream we're gonna, it's gonna be like a disco, you know? We're gonna celebrate this new song with video, of course, which I'm busy making at the moment, gathering all the files from the different uh, musicians who played on this track. We've still got two people to reveal. Tonight, we're gonna reveal one of those people for you guys. It will be the bass player. I'm not gonna mention his name just yet, so you keep watching this uh, uh, video. Let me tell you about today. Today was really successful. Yesterday, I gave or let's say the day before I, I finally uploaded, you know, obviously we're sending this stuff all online. Everybody sends their stuff to me. I decide, is it good? Is it what we're looking for? I do my vocals, whatever. That's gonna be another vlog, of course, when I finally reveal the lead singer of this thing. But that's me. Yeah, whatever. I can still do a reveal. <laughs> Stupid. But either way, you know, I, I, I uploaded it. It was pretty big file and uh, he downloaded it and within two days the master on the mixing board had already mixed it mastered it up to our satisfaction i sent it around everybody likes it. everybody loves it sounds really great he's done an amazing job you know at the end of the day you're pulling in tracks from all these different people and it could it could sound like a jumble sale like a floor mark you know it could sound like a mishmash of all sorts it's his final job and that's where the money's involved to bring all this together and to make it sound like a band, to make it sound like a record. You know, back in the day, we would make demos, you know, and we were striving for that record sound, you know? And uh, these days, it's a bit easier. And of course, if you've got somebody who's good at touching the screen and messing around, and you, you know, years ago it was faders, but not anymore. Maybe sometimes. But uh, you've got a good man, like a master of, the mixing world, you know, and within a day and a half, two, two, two days, he'd done it. So, I mean, it was really important because today I uploaded the first track to um, CD Baby. And of course, they do the distribution to Spotify, uh, iTunes, all those kind of places. And of course, when it's played on YouTube, you know, under the video that any, you know, the fact that it's been played, the royalties from that, the clicks, are then registered by these companies, CD Baby and stuff like that. And then that money is then paid out to the artists. I mean, at the end of the day, we're doing all this work. It's not free. You know, when, when Queen first started off and all these bands, they made a record and they got probably millions of royalties, went on tour, had a nice house here and everything. That's gone. There are still successful musicians, of course, out there, possibly in the pop world rock world as well there still are people out there that have had successful concerts and everything but that's gone and it's gone for a while and it's going to be a while so that's why i decided in the end to take to the air At the end of the day you're always available you're always there it's like watching netflix but it's another episode isn't it anyway amazing day you sent me the tracks i uploaded it to cd baby with the artwork at the end of the day what i read on the screen was thank you you know, obviously they're gonna they're gonna check the track and the artwork and make sure everything's okay for the release. It's between one and three weeks. But wait a minute, my release is in four weeks. That's sort of stupid. But it's gonna work out. It's gonna be fine. That's why I wanted to get it in now to give enough time for the release, which is which will be on the second of April. 
I believe it's a Friday, maybe I'm wrong, you know what I'm like with details. Um, but it's going to be amazing. Tonight really is about the GoFundMe. Of course, a big shout out, a big thank you, and a reason course is thank you, thank you well, on the people who donated to my GoFundMe. Of course, PayPal, all those amazing people, be it Spain, Brazil, Australia, UK, Germany, the Netherlands, they don't like to give money out so much, but um, they have. Um, America, um, yeah, Italy, yeah, it's incredible, you know, and it's still growing. I think we're at 2,338 or something like that. I will put it down here somewhere, the, 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 the correct amount, because I'll have to look online. But um, tonight I wanted to get something out to you guys. It is about the reveal of this amazing bass player that played on this track. Uh, this young man I met um, a few years ago, and it's a funny story because, yeah, I let the cat out of the bag. He's from the Netherlands, originally living in Germany. Maybe you can guess who it is who's watching, write in the comments, real quick. <laughs> and uh, where I live in the Netherlands, which is near the Tilburg area, um, he was living originally. So I met this guy in Germany. He was, he was a Dutch guy, nice guy, played bass. And we did, we did a concert together. We, we did some, some things together and we met up quite often, but we never really got too involved. Um, and then I moved to the Netherlands and he mentioned about where he was from. And I was like, oh my God, it's the next city. How is that possible? So we've kind of swapped places. When I used to live in Germany, in, in Karlsruhe, he's not living in Karlsruhe, but he's not, not too far away. He's now in Germany and I'm having, I'm having the Dutch experience. He's having the German experience, even though I'm from the UK anyway. So I'm kind of a, a mishmash of all sorts of languages and stuff and concepts, but I still like my cup of tea with milk. I am very much after 26 years abroad, still very much from the UK. Big star, BBC One, you know what I'm saying? Cup of tea and all that business. English cheese, can't get in anywhere. Cadbury's uh, 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 chocolate, oh my goodness me. If you want to send me one, send me a bar. Uh, anytime, you know. <laughs> anyway, this is a young man that I met a few years ago. Um, another story is that I was going to probably play bass on this track myself. I play guitar and bass, but I wanted a bass player and I last minute decided this is the man. He's going to play on the track. He's a good guy, you know, and it's about working with friends, this record. Some people won't be involved. It's not necessarily about working with too close musicians because, you know, it's kind of like I'm in a band with these people and, you know, it's kind of like, I don't want to do that. I want to bring other people in to the to the to the fold as you as you as you as you would say so that's what i'm kind of doing and tonight i want to introduce to you this young man this is his video i'm not going to say his name just yet maybe you recognize him he sent this video in thank you very much for doing that my friend check this out boom My name is uh, Alex Janssen and uh, I'm doing the bass on this uh, on this song for David's second solo record. Um, crazy! It's uh, amazing to play on the on the rhythm tracks or the drum tracks of Bodo Schalp, uh, legendary drummer of Michael Schenker. And then Lucky, he did uh, he did some crazy crazy great guitar stuff. Didn't hear anything of the vocals yet, so I'm very curious to hear that too. Um, well. Like I said, my name is Alex Janssen. I'm from Holland originally. I moved to Germany like 15 years ago. And uh, I knew David already a little bit before, but we got to know each other better because I moved to his area in Germany. And uh, we did some shows together and we spent some time on the road traveling for Voodoo Circle or when I was playing in Switzerland, uh, he, he came along with me on the way back because he was he was playing there also and he didn't want to stay the night in the hotel. So we had great talks and and we, we spoke about, all right, man, if, if you are doing a, an, another solo record, because I love the first one, uh, I would I would love to, to participate in it. And uh, well, in this COVID time, um, all of a sudden we were talking again and, uh, and uh, the second solo album came up 
uh, I said, I, I, I'm still in, you know, I'm still open for it and still happy to, to be that, you know, and uh, so here we are, got tracks last week and we played and we, we repaired some little stuff and all that, and, and uh, but I'm, I'm happy with the result. Um, there is a link here and the link is for a GoFundMe and um, it's very important because it's for paying for the mix and for the production of the CDs and the artwork and uh, I think it's important we were this morning I checked and he's at like 2070 euros of 5000 so still has a little bit to go so go there and, and buy something. I, I think you can buy your name on the record or you can buy the final and you get it up front and, and some special goodies, special content that he's making. Subscribe to his vlog. It's a fun one. I've, I've been watching them all the time. The stories of Pink Dream 69 and Voodoo Circle and all that. It's, uh, it's great stuff. I'm, I'm happy to be on his record and I hope you enjoy this too. Huh? Be safe and talk to you later. Bye. There you go, folks. Maybe people from the Netherlands who's watching this will realize this is Alex Janssen, the mighty Alex Janssen on bass. Did an incredible job. Uh, we backed and forth. We changed a few things, you know, with the bass and everything. But it's possible online. He's obviously in lockdown at home at the moment, work-wise. And he had a bit of time in between working of at home to, to, to get this bass sorted out for me. Thank you very much, Alex. An amazing job as you saw in the, uh, the little bit of video that he sent over and um, yeah what can I say Alex Janssen um, Hardline he's been on tour with Hardline I think he was in America with those guys done many things Manum I think it's called in the Netherlands so you know he's had his own taste of success and, and uh, you know we all move on we all do other things and it's really great to get him involved he will be in the video of course which will be released on the 2nd of, uh, of April Hopefully CD Baby, work it out for Spotify and everything. Um, once again, you realize I'm stood in front, if you just tuned in, in front of my artwork that I'm really proud of. Uh, Jobert Mello, my, uh, my Brazilian artist, came through again. Sledgehammer Graphics. Um, he came up with this amazing thing. Real quick, the, the album's called Medusa. It will be available, of course, later on this year plan to release like two or three singles probably all with videos and uh, finally the record will come out it will be available on CD and limited limited vinyl really important there'll be 200 pieces obviously you need post and stuff like that and of course extra stuff um, will be signed possibly with a poster it really depends on how much money we get in uh, at this point in the game we're almost able to possibly with PayPal as well, maybe pay for the mix. The artwork's in the bag. I'm more or less paid for that myself. Um, yeah, and then it's really just, uh, you know, making the CDs and of course that's why it costs money. Making a nice CD with good artwork and everything. So if you still wanna help me on my journey and donate, we've still got time. This is going over uh, obviously a long period. It has slowed. But in the beginning, I had some amazing people from Australia and from many places. I'm happy whoever do donated, of course. It's been incredible. And uh, once again, a big shout out to you guys. There will be a live stream on the release on the 2nd of the 4th of April. And that Friday night, we're going to stream. The Gold Fund is going really great. Today, I uploaded the, uh, the, the music. Um, I'm still working on the video. I'm still bringing in all the videos. Tonight was the reveal with Alex Janssen. You checked out his videos and everything. Maybe I can find something on YouTube from this incredible bass player. And like I said before, we've got the Netherlands involved. We've got Germany, Belgium, Greece, you know, Medusa, the, uh, the artwork, of course, is obviously got a big, massive connection with Greece, of course. So of course I needed to get a Greek guitar player lucky regards us um, playing guitars on this first track in a way I'd like it I'd like to let the people listen it's so great it's worked out so great this whole thing and it's just amazing to listen to the mix today but no I'm gonna tease you the next reveal will be the keyboard player probably a little bit of information about what I uh, um, how I recorded the track and everything and then we're gonna be already a couple of weeks in and then it's gonna be the release Thank you very much for listening to my vlog so far. 
subscribe, like, and share. Let's not forget that. And above all, help me by sharing these videos, pulling those subscribers. The more people we have, the more the message gets out, the more fun we can have doing this together. Thank you very much for listening. Hello to Brazil, Spain, Australia, America, UK. If I've missed out, I'm really sorry, but you know I'm thinking about you. Adios!